الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فنتابع درسنا في شرح كتاب عمدة الأحكام للحافظ عبد الغني بن عبد الواحد المقدسي رحمه الله تعالى ولازلنا في كتاب الصلاة في باب الوتر منه في باب الوتر We will continue our class in the explanation of the book عمدة الأحكام by الحافظ عبد الغني بن عبد الواحد المقدسي رحمه الله تعالى and we're still in the book of the prayer, and we're in the chapter regarding al-witr. Regarding al-witr. أورد المصنف رحمه الله هذا الباب لبياني لبياني صلاة الوتر فضلها وأحكامها. So the author رحمه الله mentioned this chapter to clarify, to show the matter of صلاة الوتر, its virtue, as well as its rulings. وكما تعلمون صلاة الوتر هي الصلاة الفردية يعني صلاة هي صلاة فردية من ركعة أو ثلاث أو خمس أو سبع أو تسع أو إحدى عشر وهكذا هي الصلاة الفردية التي تصلى بعد صلاة العشاء ولو جمع الإنسان بين المغرب والعشاء سواء سمع جمع جمع تقديم أو تأخير سواء جمع في وقت المغرب أو في وقت العشاء لسفر مثلا أو مرض فإنه يجوز له أن يصلي الوتر بعد أن يصلي العشاء ولو لم يدخل وقت وقت العشاء ولو كان في وقت المغرب إذا جمع جمع تقديم أما لو جمع جمع تأخير فالأمر أوضح لا لا شك أنه لا بأس يعني لو جمع المغرب مع العشاء في وقت العشاء فإنه لا بأس له أن يصلي الوتر بلا شك بعد صلاة العشاء على كل حال صلاة الوتر متعلقة بصلاة العشاء وتصلى بعد صلاة العشاء والأفضل أن تكون صلاة الوتر هي آخر صلاة في الليل أن تكون آخر صلاته في ليله ولو صلى بعدها فلا بأس يعني مثلا شخص خشي أنه لن يستيقظ قبل الفجر ليصلي الوتر فصلى الوتر قبل أن ينام ثم وفقه الله للقيام أنه استيقظ قبل الفجر فهو لا بأس له أن يصلي أن يتهجد أن يصلي قياما وتهجدا قبل الفجر ولا يصلي وترا ثانيا وإنما يكفيه الوتر الأول الذي صلاه قبل نومه أما لو يعني لو علم وغلب على ظنه أنه يستيقظ قبل الفجر فالأولى له والأفضل له أن يؤخر الوتر إلى قبيل صلاة الفجر بقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فإن خشي طلوع الفجر فليوتر فليوتر يعني فليصلي وترا أو فليوتر صلاته أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم لما ذكر صلاة الليل فقال مثنى مثنى فإذا خشي أحدكم الفجرة صلى نعم صلى واحدة فأوترت له ما صلى نعم صلاة الوتر is an odd numbered prayer meaning that it has an odd number of units so it has one rak'ah, one unit of prayer, or three, or five, or seven, or nine, or eleven, or whatever it is, an odd number. وصلاة الوتر طبعا سنة مؤكدة. قال بعض العلماء بوجوبها ولكن الصحيح أنها سنة مؤكدة. So صلاة الوتر is a highly recommended uh, prayer. Some of the people not say that it is obligatory. However, the correct opinion is that it is very it's a very important and high, highly encouraged recommended prayer. And it is odd numbered. And it is prayed after Isha. After the person prays Isha. So if the person was to combine Maghrib and Isha, for example, someone is traveling or someone is sick and needs to combine the prayers, um, then in that case, he can pray Witr as soon as he prays Isha. Whether he prays Isha at the time of Isha, they pray, he, whether he prays Maghrib and Isha at the time of Isha, if he delays Maghrib until the time of Isha, uh, for a legitimate excuse, then in that case he prays Maghrib and then he prays Isha, and he, of course he's, he can pray Witr after that immediately. And 
if the person combines Maghrib and Isha at the time of Maghrib. So one is traveling, for example, and he wants to pray Maghrib, and he's, of course, while traveling, one is allowed to pray to combine Maghrib and Isha together. So he prays Maghrib and he prays Isha right after it. In that case, he's allowed to pray Witr right away, even at the time of Maghrib. He's allowed to pray Witr. And we should know that there should only be one Witr prayer per night. One should only pray Witr once per night. One should not pray Witr twice in a night. Uh, and it doesn't have to be, it's best to pray Witr as the last prayer in the night. This is better, to pray Witr as the last prayer in the night. For example, someone wants to pray, someone wants to pray, um, Someone is, is sure that he will be able to wake up, for example, before Fajr to pray night prayers. In this case, and he, he thinks that it is most likely that he will be able to wake up. In this case, it is better for him to delay Witr until that, until that, until he wakes up to pray Tahajjud, to pray in the last, last part of the night, and then pray Witr. This is best for him. However, uh, and he prays Witr when he when, uh, when he is done with uh, praying night prayers, for example, Fajr is coming and he wants to finish his night prayers, then he prays with her because of the same to the Messenger وسلم, when he mentioned that the night prayers are two, two units, two units, until one fears that or is worried that Fajr will come, the time of dawn will come, then he should pray an odd number, he should pray a single unit, which makes his prayer to become odd altogether, odd number of units. Um, if the person did not think that he will be able to wake up in the last part of the night to pray night prayers, then in that case he should pray witr before he sleeps. So he prays Isha, prays Sunnat al Isha, he prays any night prayers that he wants to pray, and then he prays, he finishes his prayers with witr, and then he goes to sleep. Now, if he wakes up and wants to pray more night prayers before Fajr, then he is allowed to. He's allowed to and there's no harm. However, he does not pray a second witr. He does not pray another prayer with odd numbered, uh, odd numbered uh, units. And rather, he just prays even numbered units, two rak'at, two rak'at, until he stops before Fajr. So he's allowed to pray more night prayers after he prays witr. This is the correct opinion in regards to this matter. Now, قال المصنف رحمه الله عن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما أنه قال سأل رجل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهو على المنبر ما ترى في صلاة الليل قال مثنى مثنى فإذا خشي أحدكم الصبح صلى واحدة فأوترت له ما صلى وأنه كان يقول اجعلوا آخر صلاتكم بالليل وترا متفق عليه فأورد المصنف رحمه الله هذا الحديث ليبين كيفية صلاة الوتر so the author Allah, mentioned this hadith of Abdullah bin Umar عنهما, He said a man asked the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi while he was on his member, What do you tell us? What do you see in regards to the night prayers? And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi he said it's two two units, two units. And then if one of you became worried that the dawn will come, the subh, the fajr or dawn will come, then he prays one unit. And it makes his prayer to be odd altogether. Uh, well, and also the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, make the last prayer in your night, witr, an odd number. Al-Hadith, muttafaqun alayhi, wa nuajiru al-kalama alayhi ila al-dars al-qadim, wa kana fi al-umri baqiyya, wa nakhtafi bi adha al-naqdar, wa sallallahu wa sallam, wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in.